If you were going to drain the pool, yeah. you paint it or something. Okay. Which I painted two years ago. Oh, you did? Okay, so that's good. I just but, I probably just put tile. But, but the tile if there. you were going to do that, it will drain out most all the water down to that pipe down there. Oh, uh, okay. But that's another whole separate system. Oh, uh, okay. Now, <coughs> if you lose prime on the pump. Uh-huh. You can take, I take that stick here and okay. open this lid. Okay. Take the stick, open the lid. And I shut this valve off. Okay, shut that off. Once you fill that tank up with air, uh -huh. that's going to be hard to prime the pump. Mm. Okay. But this valve here opens up to that one that goes to the bottom of the pool. Oh, okay. And so now you've just filled this with water, mm -hmm. open this valve and turn it on, and the pump is almost instantly primed. Sweet, all right. That's perfect. Now, Genius. you just break this here a little bit. Okay. And you you can see the air come in here and you shut that right off. Okay. And let the air come out of here. Mm -hmm. And you have to play with this mm -hmm. three to five minutes to suck the air out of there mm -hmm. to have it primed again. And then you shut this here off to save it for the next emergency. Okay, yeah. And you leave this here one on. Mm. Okay. The old fiberglass tank that I had here mm -hmm. leaked. Mm. And that's why I put the valve out there. Okay. To keep this here charged with water. Mm. Because the fiberglass leaked. Gotcha. And if you mm. didn't, it would drain itself back to the pool and you'd lose your prime. Mm. What's but this? With, with this here system, it hasn't lost its prime. Mm. What kind of material this is that? Stainless steel. Stainless steel, okay. Perfect. Now, this is durable. This is stainless steel pipes. Stainless steel pipes, okay. But just out of a, a safety net. Yeah. I shut that off. Okay. And then you had to turn that on before you start the pump. Mm. And you shut the pump off to turn it back off. Now, as you saw that there's strainer in there, about once a year. I take and unscrew this here. Okay, I screw that there. It's because once a year, whatever you're vacuuming up there. Uh huh. This is also a strainer. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Mhm. Mm so just clear. This all catches the... the big stuff from the bottom. Mhm. Mm that catches the floating stuff from the top. Okay. And. It does have a strainer. There is a strainer in here, mm -hmm. which is just factory for the pump. Okay. But usually that's that's clean because mm -hmm. of this. Okay. But if you feel like checking, you can. And then when you open that up, you want to make sure it's it's clean. You can put just a little skim of grease on it and put it back together. It's got an O-ring in it. Mm -hmm. And this here has an O-ring too. And you can put a, clean it because sometimes sand will come out there. Ah, oh, okay. And you don't want sand on your O-ring. Gotcha, okay. And so you put, you clean it and put another film of grease on it. And okay. Then then tighten these all four up evenly, mm. and they shouldn't leak. There, 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 there. Okay. No, just one, two, three, four. Okay, one, That's two, a hinge. Three. Oh, okay, one, two, three, four. Gotcha. All right. But this was the original part here mm. before I put that new new system in. Here. Wow, you designed this all? Yeah. I mean, you're, in your brain, like, forget it. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> You should patent it. Sand filter. <laughs> That's genius.
But anyways, yeah, you gotta add some more water to it. Okay. Because it will suck air when that, if that comes out. Yeah, definitely. You don't want that. Mm-hmm.